poverty alleviation programs. Or schemes initiated by the government of India in relation to the poverty alleviation. Thank you, Jani. So, before of this, before of this, the so what was a, what were the strategies of a government of India in relation to the eradication of poverty from Indian economy, in which of course we discuss as a sectoral growth of economy, sectoral growth of economy. Then we're discussing regarding as the industrialization. Industrialization through the cottage industries, growth of a cottage industries. Cottage industries you read in the last year, such industries in which the families are engaged in the manufacturing of goods. Family members collectively responsible for manufacturing of goods. When we're talking about a cottage means household industries. So such industries are functioned only in a rural economy. With growth of industries, with growth of a cottage industries, we can provide the job opportunities to the people. Through jobs, they can earn the income and complete their necessities, basic necessities. So indirectly, through the job opportunities, we can easily as sort out the problem of a poverty from economy. Those people which are producing substances, the goods within as an economy, through the engage themselves in a primary sector or either in a secondary, tertiary, any of a sector. Through such works, they earn income and through the such income, they can complete their necessities, basic necessities. So through the job opportunities, through industries, growth of industries, we can solve the problem of a unemployment. We can solve of unemployment and poverty. Unemployment and poverty. Clear? Unemployment and poverty, it can eradicate through the generation of a job opportunities within as the economy. The cottage industries, which are supportive for generation and growth of a growth of income in economy. The cottage and the small scale industries, which are basically such industries which are employ more laborers and less machinery are being encouraged. The government has reserved some products only for the only for the manufacturing by the industries. But in such economies, such countries where industries are not adequate, not present in that of the extent as per existing population, such economies are lagging behind at present. They are still as the developing economies, developing nations. But in such other countries where the industries still are not growing, such economies are underdeveloped like Pakistan. They're dependent upon the others. India like as a country is a developing country where the pace of a development is still as continued, but not as per the needs. Since 70 years of Indian independence, population increased as a three times. But as compared to the population, services are not adequately increasing. That's why as a brain drain still occur. People moving from migrating from India towards as the other countries. Clear, Gachan, trend is still following by the people. But that trend, it can be as a changeable. If the jobs are providing to the people to growth of industries. Through jobs, we can solve that problem of a migration, brain drain, draining of a wealth from Indian economy. Clear? Now, next one, fourth, fourth strategy opted by the government of India in relation to the eradication, removal of poverty. Removal of poverty as a redistribution of income. Redistribution of income redistribution of income. So strategies updated by the government of India, as a first we discuss as a land reforms, second we discuss as a industries, third as the, what was the third? Uh, location, yes, sectoral growth of economy. And fourth one, now the fourth one as a redistribution of income, redistribution of income. Colonial period, 
colonial period responsible for colonial british age responsible for the economic disparities in india disparities means differences economic disparities in india british age responsible for economic disparities in india during as a british age highly benefited only as a sub section which were loyal towards the britishers britishers and a large section of a population becomes the poorer economic disparities means a gap between the gap between rich and poor increased during as a british age farmers becomes as they became as the tenants tenant is a that person which is not owned the land so earlier those were the land owners they sold their agricultural lands for payment of a revenue for payment of revenue or loans to the company officials that's why such farmers they becomes they became as the tenants laborers lost their jobs due to the due to the deindustrialization if the raw material not there how can a industrialist can manufacture the goods so most number of industrial units weavers lost their jobs during the british age rich becomes more richer poor becomes more poorer which leads to the economic disparities it leads to the economic disparities so the gap between gap between rich and poor gap between rich and poor reduced through gap between rich and poor reduced through efforts made by the government first what efforts made by the government for a redistribution of income or decreasing the gap between rich and poor rich and poor first collection of taxes from rich people government started to collect as a income tax from people this is as a main source of a income of government government started to collect tax taxing the rich and the rich and taxing or collection of tax from rich people taxing the rich and middle class families government collecting as a taxes from a middle class families and a rich families we all are belong from a middle class families so government started as a collection of a taxes from a rich and a middle class families through which as the gap between rich and the poor decrease how decrease the income which earned in a form of a taxes such income used by the government for a availability of a public facilities like health education at the time of independence health health facilities were poorer a large number of people these were as a die death rate was a higher comparatively the birth rate but due to as a availability of a public facilities now as a death rate control in our country medical facilities are improving food items given by the government to the poorers to the poorers at the minimum rates at a lower rates 2 rupees per kg wheat if you compare the present economy we are purchasing the wheat at amount of 25 to 30 rupees per kg but government given the food items to socially and economically backward sections as 2 rupees wheat 3 rupees rice 20 rupees pulses presently not the any of a pulses available pulses are not available at a lower than the 100 but for a such economically poorer sections which are under poverty government given pulses at a 20 rupees per kg clear 20 rupees so first as a taxes imposed on a rich and middle class families now the second taxing on luxurious items tax on government started as a imposed taxes on a luxurious items like as a four wheeler car they will be as a only that person will buy a car which is as economically sound which has easily completes their basic necessities it will move towards as a purchasing of a car air conditioner refrigerators that person which can easily complete their basic needs so government started as a imposing the taxes on a luxurious items 
लग्जरियस आइटम्स क्लियर लग्जरियस आइटम्स थ्रू विच द गवर्नमेंट हैज अर्निंग एज अ गुड प्रॉफिट मार्जिन गुड प्रॉफिट मार्जिन वेन द जी एस सी इंट्रोड्यूस द थ्री इयर्स बैक थ्री इयर्स बैक एट दैट टाइम एज द टेक्सिस अंडर द गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस टैक्स जी एस सी टैक्स ऑन अ बेसिक आइटम्स इट वॉज एज अ लोअर बट फॉर द ज्वेलरी ज्वेलरी एंड ऑटोमोबिल्स टैक्स इट वॉज एज अम्पोज द जी एस सी एज अ ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट हाई बिकॉज दो विच आर अफोर्ड विच कैन बी एज अ अफोर्ड आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ द बेसिक नीड्स दे हैव टू पे एज अ टैक्स विच दैट मनी विच कैन यूज फॉर अ which can use for the growth of economy it can use for the growth of economy in our country so first as a tax taxes collected from the rich and middle class families second taxes on a luxurious items third subsidies given subsidies given subsidies given to economically backward subsidies s u b s i d i e s subsidies given subsidies given to economically backward sections in various in various essential goods in various essential goods means there is a person small farmer is there which has owned the one acre of a land or a two acre of a land is there that person is a economically poorer their production is a lower since last 10 15 20 years now presently as the person want to want to set up or purchase their own agricultural machinery tractor purchase karna chahta hai on such acres government has given as a subsidy the relaxations if the tractors amount as the 10 lakhs 10 lakh and the government has given as a 10 percentage of a subsidy means 1 lakh it will be not paid by the that person for purchasing of a tractor it will purchase as a tractor at amount of a by spending the 9 lakh rupees 9 lakh rupees spending by a that farmer for purchasing of a that agricultural appliance or a machinery which is desirable by the needy person economically backward sections only for a economically backward section if any person in a rural economy rural economy village area not having the regular source of income it want to set up their own source of self employment self employment very good gushan said as a subsidies are given on a lpg government has earlier formulated that the subsidies it will be as a given on a lpg and the lpg cylinder at amount of a 960 rupees then nothing it will be as a coming towards your account see taxes whatever has collected from the others clear so subsidies are given to the economically backward sections for basic for basic goods for desirable goods clear these were as a strategies updated by the government in relation to eradication of poverty for removal of poverty now as poverty alleviation programs poverty alleviation programs means those schemes initiated by government in relation to the removal of poverty removal of poverty from india first is mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act it was launched in 2005 i am again repeating as a mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act 2005 it was launched in 2005 by government of india government of india government poverty alleviation programs are those schemes which are targeted to the 
socially and economically backward sections. In 2005, launched by the government of India for generation of employment, for generation of employment opportunities in village areas, in rural economies, generation of generation of job opportunities in rural economies. So what were its objectives? Objectives. What were its objectives? So 100 days, minimum 100 days of objectives of Madriga are 100 days of guaranteed work guaranteed work for rural population for rural population 100 days of assured assured jobs given by the panchayats to the laborers to the workers to those which are not having the regular source of income not having regular source of income second objective 33% 33% jobs reserved for jobs reserved for women jobs reserved for women 33% what kind of the jobs are a 100 day uh, under which as a 100 days of jobs are given cleaning, sweeping, construction, any of a work through which a person, any of a person, it can earn income and complete their basic needs. Complete their basic needs. 33% of a total number of a jobs are reserved for women in rural economy. Means upliftment of a women. Women emancipation also followed in a this in this scheme in this scheme third objective jobs given to the SEs and STs scheduled caste and scheduled tribes and scheduled tribes jobs given to the socially backward sections socially backward sections of a scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Clear? And fourth one, fourth is a, yes, Gurupal, which is a fourth objective of a Madhika, unemployment alliance, unemployment alliance, means every person every person in rural economy every person in rural economy every person in rural economy has to register himself or herself himself or herself Every person in rural economy in village areas has to register themselves in panchayat, in panchayat, register themselves in panchayat, register in the sense to inform them. A person unemployed has to inform the panchayat regarding their no jobs means they are not having as a, any regular source of income. They have to intimate to the panchayats. So there will be as a responsibility of a panchayat within 15 days, they will provide any kind of a work to the that worker. This is as a responsibility of a panchayats. If panchayat fail to given as the jobs, then they will pay as unemployment allowance. Unemployment allowance means for survival, for survival of a that individual panchayat, panchayat of a village, panchayat of a that particular village, it will pay the some amount of money for their needs, for their survival. 
without work if the jobs are not provided if the work is not provided by the panchayat to the worker to the laborers then unemployment allowance it will be as a given so date availability of a jobs minimum 100 days in a year this is as a guaranteed for every individual 100 days of a jobs are secured for every individual so throughout the all the uh, jobs 33% protected only reserved for the women only reserved for women clear this was as a first poverty alleviation program launched by the government of india in 2005 to eradicate the poverty by generation of employment opportunities by generation of employment opportunities yes gurupal is asking that the in a me which is has isolated segregated from the urban areas in such area still as the such works are continuous cleaning cleaning of present needs needs of a village economy as a still function cleaning sweeping swachh bharat abhiyan cleanliness is a more important for our health so jobs are still given under the such conditions to the such narega workers earlier that scheme was a narega national rural employment guarantee act 5 years back it was as a change their name as now as known as a mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act narega workers clear so first scheme clear any questions any questions second scheme second scheme launched by the government of india in relation to the eradication of poverty from indian economy eradication of poverty from indian economy as swarn jayanti gram swarojgar yojana swarn jayanti gram swarojgar yojana swarn jayanti gram swarojgar yojana स्वर्ण जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना इट वॉज लॉन्च ऑन द ओकेशन ऑफ अ गोल्डन जुबली ऑफ इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस स्वर्ण जयंती गोल्डन जुबली ग्राम विलेज स्वरोजगार एज अ सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट योजना इज अ प्रोग्राम स्वर्ण जयंती ग्राम स्वरोजगार योजना ऑन ओकेशन ऑफ अ ओकेशन ऑफ golden jubilee of indian independence for which as a this scheme launched in scheme launched in 1999 scheme launched in 1999 the objective of the program is to help objective of the program is the object prime objective of this program is to help the existing poor families <coughs> existing poor families existing poor families to come above the poverty line above poverty line under this scheme under this scheme families below poverty line families below poverty line are provided with financial support financial assistance financial assistance given to the those socially and economically backward sections socially and economically backward sections which are below then poverty line below then poverty line 
Gurupa Singh, we can set as a one criteria for so Swan Jenti Gram Sorojgar Yojana, providing as the providing as the jobs to the such sections which are below than the poverty line, below than poverty line through the financial assistance. Financial assistance. Third, Sampoon Grameen Rozgar Yojana. Sampoon Grameen Rozgar Yojana. Sampoon Grameen Rozgar Yojana. Sampoon Grameen Rozgar Yojana. Sampoon Grameen Rozgar Yojana launched in 2001. Launched in 2001. It was launched in 2001. It was integrated with this program, integrated with this program, integrated with Jawahar Gram Samriddhi Yojana. Jawahar Gram Samriddhi Yojana. Samriddhi Yojana for to provide to provide opportunities. So what were the objectives of this program? To provide opportunities to surplus labor, surplus labor, surplus, yes, anybody? What it means a surplus labor? Surplus extra, extra workforce. After getting as a job, after getting the jobs in agriculture fields, which is as not get uh, not having any source of income, so to provide the opportunity to surplus labor, second to provide security of fertilizers and manures, to provide security of fertilizers and manures, third development of basic infrastructure. Development of basic infrastructure in the in which as the streets constructed by the village panchayats, streets maintenance, construction and maintenance of streets, street lights, development of basic infrastructure, construction of streets, maintenance of a street lights, availability of a clean drinking water, sanitation, all these are the responsibilities of a panchayat, which are covered under the infrastructure. Development of the basic infrastructure. Fourth, development of the regional economic and social conditions. Development of the regional economic and social conditions. Economic and social conditions targeted under the targeted under the sampoon grameen rozgar rozgar yojana sampoon means as in totality incomplete totality grameen rural rozgar as the employment yojana program so as a whole what kind of the necessities of a villages for which as a jobs are providing jobs providing that scheme as a targeted which was as a launch in a 2001 which later in stage integrated with the jawahar samriddhi gram samriddhi yojana clear gram samriddhi yojana next swan jayanti sorry next is the yes national food for work program 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 this scheme introduced in a 2007 7 2007 
in which food grains given to food grains given to food grains given to those workers which were employed under manrega which were employed under manrega means at the time of a launch of a manrega earlier as a salaries in a form of a currency currency given to the workers but later in stage with introduction of a national food for work program it was launched in a such economically backward sections where people not having the adequate food through which through which as people can't complete their food items it generally has occur in a situations of a famines in such areas people getting as a food items in avers of their services their work for their work they getting as the food items for survival for survival clear rest of the schemes we will discuss on tomorrow any questions <clears throat> yes thank you